Hello, hello, hello everyone! Preston here with another video on my channel, Prolix Art. Welcome back for those that are from before, and welcome for those that are new. Today we are going to be working on some fan art for Elden Ring, one of my favorite video games as of recently. It is so pretty of a game. Now, we're going to get started for this fan art to be of Ronnie the Witch. I will disclaim now, there will be spoilers <laughs> ahead. So please, if go forward in your own peril, because I will be having clips. But other than that, I enjoyed working on this piece, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but let's get on to it. But before we do, remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. With that, let's get to it. So with this art piece, I wanted to implement a lot that I learned from playing the game about Ronnie the Witch, whether it's from the lore, the character interactions, things like that. So I wanted to show the feeling that I got from the game that this beautiful, beautiful game gave me. To be honest, the only reason I got this game to begin with was because I've seen so many videos of how Gosh dang pretty it is. It's such a pretty game. But it turned out to be a very good piece. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will let you guys know that this piece came through as a 100% YouTube live, which was very interesting to try compared to my Twitch lives that I've done in the past. And I wanted to implement kind of a YouTube live and kind of grow my YouTube community a little bit more like I have been trying to. And grow a little bit of an art community. But since we're in the line art phase, let's continue going and see where things go from here. Welcome back. So with that, we are now in the post line art spot where I'm going to be working more on a better implementation of gradient maps. Now gradient maps are actually used in the industry to finish illustrations quite a bit faster. But the only issue, the issue with this piece, I don't have a gradient map. I don't have a gradient going on. So what I had to do was I actually implemented the fact that I haven't done gradients and just made a gradient for this. It's something that I haven't done in a while, so enjoy the process of me making a gradient for the gradient map coming up, and I'll explain the gradient maps in a little bit.
Now that we have the gradient going in the black and white image going with the focal points and everything taken care of, it's now up to us to make a gradient map. So with this, I implemented a gradient map with the gradient map filter in Photoshop. I don't know if Clip Studio Paint or anything else has it, but I know I use it in Photoshop. And this helps you skip a lot of the process for using colors when it comes to switching them from one thing to another and it gives them a more vibrant and saturated tone which I enjoy myself. Now for this piece I did want to keep it kind of a dark and murky so I got the correct colors and put them down and added more colors as I illustrated it. So enjoy the process of me illustrating and get using a gradient map and let's get to it. So with this, you'll see that I actually used a lot of the gradient maps really quickly and chose different colors to add and subtract for other gradient maps, such as the clothes versus the skin and the backgrounds. And that was just kind of the quick gist of it. And I hope you guys see the little process of me actually using the gradient map and then adding more painterly vibes to the image and adding colors where I think they need to be added. We got the colors in, we got the illustration rendered out. Time to, you know, use screens, color dodges, and saturations, as well as other filters to throw in the next 5%. So here's the artwork after I did all that.
Thank you everyone for watching today's video. It was super fun to work on this piece about Ronnie the Witch, who again is my favorite character in this story. Her quest line and everything is so great. So in the comments, I would actually like to know what your favorite Elden Ring character is. And remember to subscribe, but hit that like button if you guys have a favorite Elden Ring character, or if you like art in general. Thank you again so much, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Bye.